Welcome back. It is the time of year where you have maybe a little bit more time to read your favorite books. And where would I be if I wasn't suggesting some great books to you? I love to read. I always have a big to be read pile. I also want to find out what you're reading and two of my very favorite women are here to tell me what they're reading, what we should all read. Author Tori Carrington, a best-selling author here to tell us what to read this summer. Hello. You've got a good pile of books, I'm sure. Yeah, I brought plenty. So Tori Carrington is here and Mary Helen Dara, a columnist, author, writer. So I feel like you guys are tapped into what we should be reading this summer. First off, you've got a whole passel of books by Tori Carrington. I first of all want to recommend all the Sophie Metropolis uh, books. They're smooth as silk and they're fast and they're hilarious. Oh, thank you. And I, the first one I read, I was on vacation at a beach. It was, and it was oh, the perfect, perfect book. There you go. Yeah, so definitely beach reads. Talk yes. about your talk about the series Sophie Metropolis oh, first a little of all, bit. Checks in the mail. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but um, yeah, my girl Sophie is essentially a um, PI in training, mm -hmm. in she's located in Queens, New York. And yeah, she has quite the time of it. Uh, she was a run well, not a runaway bride. She was, you know, the day of her wedding, she found her groom in an unfortunate situation. <laughs> so she completely changed her life around. Mm -hmm. So in her sidekick and essentially her partner in crime is her little Jack Russell Terrier. His <laughs> name is Muffy and he gets into all kinds of trouble. Um, right now, the latest book is Queen's Ransom. This was out last September. It's currently available in paperback. It's going to be also available in September on audio. Oh, nice. Yeah, that is nice. I mean, it's odd. Yeah, I well, mean, when you're traveling, sometimes that's the best oh, way to go. Oh, you yeah, with I mean? audio. Yeah, you just pop it, it in the CD. It keeps you awake, too, really more does. than even listening to music for mm -hmm. some reason. And then uh, you also are uh, a groundbreaking Harlequin author. A trailblazer. You are yes. a trailblazer, and I'm not kidding. She is uh, not only a trailblazing author, but you've helped pave the way for other authors. Oh. You know, founding the Mommy Valley uh, Romance Writers Association, showing and other, other talented writers. Well, but you yes. show them the way and you mentor. I so share. that you is. Know, we've all been there. You share your you're journey. You're being modest. Oh, no. you are a mentor to many, many women who oh, well, really you. wanted to make this a career. So you should. Well, people should for know me, that. It happened for you. That's yes. right. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about what you've got. Some Harlequin titles that. And again, I'm just going to tell you what I, I know. Y'all think Fifty Shades Gray is all hot, but her books. Hey, are scorching, okay. Blazing bedtime titles. <laughs> I don't know what I do. Yeah, That's right. Look at breakfast are. pleasures. Yeah. Hello, I, like, I, mean. I like this blazing bedtime. I just think that's kind oh, of yeah. yeah. You see that? That's a take off there all the mermaid go. story, which was oh, a lot wow. of fun to do. I modeled for that cover. <laughs> <laughs> so all of the titles are mostly blaze titles right now that you've got out there that are the, the well, aside from hotter the six, of the, yeah, 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 the hotter ones are definitely the blazes, but they're still relationship oriented. Yeah. So, so it's not, if you're expecting Fifty Shades of Grey, unfortunately, you're not going to get it you know but it will be close it's yeah. close that's right yeah there you go 37 single digits more. Yeah. <laughs> all right so mary i want to see you i asked you to bring some things you've yeah. read or want to read it's like you know you're having so much fun over here now well, i'm feeling like you, you know a jalapeno pepper and you need a little yeah, drink of water to calm well, it all down exactly. so what do you have here? well first before, i don't have a visual for this one but i love and and you know excuse the brain but it's, it's a purpose of a dog and i'm from a long line of real men and they were you know, weeping weeping i mean it, it was, was just so in a, it was just good oh, you know yes a purpose of a dog yeah, yeah and it's okay. just it's just great you know and i have to be a snack reader as we say um at times because even though my children are older and mm -hmm. even greater than three feet now it's still mom 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 mom, mom. so yeah. you know every this is a great book because you can just pick it up and it says a seven day plan here but it's been like 23 days for me but it's um, called you say more than you, you think. say more than you think and it's written by a woman who is a former FBI profiler and agent and mm -hmm. it's great I mean she talks about naval engagement like right now I am navally engaged with you wherever your navel is that's where your I focus is something. and if you're really and it shows you how you are not effectively communicating and to better communicate to get the things that you want to say or need in your life if I, I'll keep you posted on my progress, okay. but uh, but I did do one. I mean, because I am such a mar I am such You're a marshmallow. Oh, I am such a marshmallow. And the other day, it was, it, when my teen did not clean the, the kitchen, I'm like, you know, I asked you to do this. Well, this is basically like, hey, you know, <clears throat> that's a little, you know, and coming from the marshmallow mom, like. I asked you to do that. She's like, I know, I'll get right, you know. So it was effective. It, it did. It All did. Right. And so then you've got a fictional title. Yeah, this is Queen Bee of Mimosa. And I just loved it because, you know, here's this woman trying to get through her second act of life with nothing more than a calling card, a broken heart, and lots of Prozac. And I don't know why, but I could relate. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I just, you know, I haven't read it yet, but I'm like, this. 
This, this could be you. This could be me. Okay. You know, so I just thought, okay. okay let's lift you know. up the title here, The Queen Bee of Mimosa yes. Branch. Yes. yes. And okay. I haven't read this one yet, but I heard it was really good. So you're, that's yeah. on your to-be-read. That's the to-be-read. And this friendship test is the same thing. I think um, it's from uh, the national bestseller, author, selling author of The Reading Group, and uh -huh. that was good. So I thought, you know, hopefully that... Yeah. You know, this this will be good too. You now, plus I'm a sucker for the dog. I mean, you know, I am. It's, I can't judge a book by the cover, but, but look at the cute. Dog it's a dog. It's a cute yes. pooch. So how can you go wrong? Hit but like dog. I said, this is great because you can reread it and pick it up and you know, little go bit about, of little to the day. Right, mm -hmm. right. Busy mom. Um, so I'm going to show you this. One. I just finished this one. This is uh, not a big. It's not a hidden title. It's the bestseller right now, and it's Dan Brown's Inferno, and it's very much like the uh, Da Vinci Code. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's just a chase, beginning to end. But if you're looking to just kind of voraciously read this, this, yes. I wouldn't say it's a snack. It's all in one no. gulp. Kind of you're, you're just exhausted. <laughs> when you're done reading. But I just finished it. It's very good. Okay, so have you guys read any of the Game of Thrones books? No. No, but I, I need. Well, to. I have. This is the one I'm on right now, though. But I would recommend if you know you people are watching, everyone's watching the the series on HBO. Uh, but the books are incredible. That's if you know, it's high fantasy, so you know there's it, you got to if you're into Lord of the Rings and that kind of right. stuff. This is this is the book for you, and then you won't be a surprise when people die because they'll have died first yeah, I hear, year. I hear no one <laughs> No one is no one is safe. That's the no. thing about this author. He's really willing to kill, maim, destroy yeah. the beloved characters of the book. Yes. Oh my goodness! Don't bond. So ruthless. Anyone. Yes. No he bonding. Is ruthless. <laughs> he is ruthless. So those are one other author. Um, that are two other authors I want to mention. Um, I'm a big fan of Dot Frank, Dorothea Benton Frank. She has a new book coming out this summer. I think it's called The Original Wife. I've got the cover up there uh, at some point, but it's coming out uh, this month here in June. And uh, I love that book. I love her work. So I'm going to mention that. And then there it is, Dorothea Benton Frank, The Last Original Wife. She's a good beach read. And again, I'm, a, I'm past chicklet. I am in hen territory. Yes. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> and she is one of the best uh, henlet type writers. I guess, I don't know if that's derogatory or not, but I like that oh, kind of thing. Well, I do we'll too. So we'll need to evolve. It. Exactly. Yeah. And then another book, I have not read this, but my friend Brittany Gibbons, who's here frequently, is a big fan of Alice Clayton. And talking about Fifty Shades, sometimes you just can't help but giggle when you read those kind of books. Alice Clayton knows that. And so this author is just about to pop. She's about to be huge, right? And she's written several books. If you liked Fifty Shades of Grey, but you want a sense of humor with your shades, <laughs> this is Alice right Clayton. Alley. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Wallbanger is the current book that she's got out there. We won't elaborate. But at any rate, uh, Brittany is a huge advocate for Alice. She turned me on to her, to her work. So that's another of my uh, beach ideas. Um, if you have kids, have you guys read Ender's Game? No. no. Recommend this to any t any teenage girl, teenage boy that you know. This is going to be a movie coming up in November, and mm. it is a fantastic book. You know, a lot of books geared toward young adults. Did, did you read The Book Thief? That was wonderful. Really it's, it's, it's a Holocaust um, mm -hmm. piece of fiction, but it's it's so well done, and, and you can enjoy like some you know nab the, nab the kids' books because they're worthwhile. Mm -hmm. Well, that one, like is, this is yeah, one, this one is yeah, this one is fantastic, and um, this is this author is lo no longer with us. But if you're looking for a series, if your kids like the Harry Potter books, uh, the Pawn of Prophecy. This is a it's a long series. It's really enjoyable. I have a Harry Potter freak. So this well, if you have a Harry Potter freak. freak. This is a oh, really is a fun great. series to get them turned on to. Oh, wonderful. Like I said, no more coming from De David Eddings, but he was fantastic. All right. Now, this is talking about Game of Thrones. The next Game of Thrones, it's going to be on Stars, is based on these books. Outlander, Diana Gavaldon. Have you read Diana Gavaldon? She's the big wig, right? She is. She's yes. the big one. Anyways, if you haven't read these, this is like, I mean, this is one of my favorite books, right? Mm -hmm. it was like, yeah. <laughs> really good. But this is going to be on stars coming up in the fall. So it's, I like reading it before it comes out. Oh, I like to see my vision in my head. Yeah, first. You, you, yeah. Have, you can't go by someone else's. Yeah. Really. Because then Definitely. you see it and you're disappointed, or they, why didn't they do it this way? And you have your own mm -hmm. thing going Exactly. On, yeah. Now, you, what books, I mean, so we've talked about Tory books. What else are you kind of looking at this summer? If you get time this summer, oh, I know. it's hard yeah, to find the time. Grandchildren and, <laughs> yeah, and writing. I'm looking for, I'm thinking, can you pull in that, that up? In that pile there yes. where we got going. 
Thank you. Okay. I actually cool. kicked off my summer by rereading Like Water for Chocolate. Oh, oh. Yeah. it's an excellent book. Yeah. And I saw the movie and didn't recipes. read it. Really? Oh. Yes. I see. I see. You did the opposite. Yes. Yeah. But it's worth the read. Yeah. It is. So Running with scissors. You know, I did the opposite. I actually saw the movie first and then I watched okay. or read the book. And that was, yeah, something. But it's, you know, interesting to see the differences. What they um, do different. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's pull this one forward yes. here. We need Liberace. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be, or it's on currently on, uh, is it HBO also? Well, isn't this particular book, this is actually his biography, okay. his, his autobiography. Um, the movie actually is based on Beyond his the lovers, yeah, Behind mm -hmm. the Candelabra, mm -hmm. and it was written by Scott Thorson. So it offers a slice of Liberace, and it is very compelling and well acted. It was phenomenal and is, and I highly recommend it. It's like but, a little pregame. Yeah. Well, you know, this is kind of maybe to round it out. Get, a, yeah. get both sides of, all sides of the story. I... I want to tell you, I saw Liberace in concert. Oh, Do you believe I'm that? I'm so jealous. <laughs> yes, I would have loved Didn't to see him in one concert. Yeah. Yeah. He one came time. to say, well, it was called Centennial Hall or, you know, back in the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, my parents took my sister and I, because we took piano lessons. Yeah. They thought, well, they'll like to see Liberace. So I it was fantastic. Yes. So we'll let you, you know, it, so it so was Mr. Showmanship for a it reason. Yes. It was, it yes. was fantastic. Oh, no, it was such a part of pop culture. Yeah. Such an, yeah. You know, important. It was, he was fun, you know, and it was a way to get children to enjoy piano, you know, especially along that vein. Yeah. I love his attitude of life. Or when oh, he would yes. get criticized, he yeah. said, you know, I just take those bad reviews and I laugh all the way to the bank. Yeah, you know? exactly it. it. I mean, great. he was as big as Elvis you know, Presley yeah. in his day. And he never, yeah. he just didn't let the negativity get, it was great. Nope. My mom yeah. loves biographies, so um, I will recommend that to her. She Definitely. would like that, I think. Yes. 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 Okay, so um, now you've got a little bit back. We want to talk a couple more of these. You like the Dexter books? Um, I love the Dexter series. So okay. I actually yeah. do it backwards. You know, if I enjoy watching, I'll do it either way. Like you mm -hmm. said, you know, you'll enjoy reading the book first and then go in to see the movie. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll see it and I'm really engrossed in this series. Isn't it and interesting, though, how there seems uh, to be such a phenomenon right now about oh, yes. likable drug dealers and serial oh, killers? Yeah, serial and, killers, and, you know, I know. Okay, so we just off <laughs> someone, but he's so nice. He you know, is. he's so nice. But he's like, so nice. I gotta learn this. All right, I want everyone to know how they can get uh, kind of stay connected with both of you. For you, mm -hmm. the website is or the oh, Facebook. What's well, the best way for people? Facebook, that, Facebook definitely. Queen. Yes, Facebook.com slash Tori Carrington. Tori Carrington. Yes. And she posts hilarious things. She's the queen of poking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love to poke, so be prepared. <laughs> And I don't even realize it. When and then I don't know what to yeah. do. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's just like, I mean, is there a book on there? I'd love to give her your blog, book. though, before, you yeah. know, any. MHMotherDay.blogspot.com. <laughs> and don't poke Mary. She no, won't know I what to do I with don't. that. I have to read your books. <laughs> All right, when we prepare, we're going to cook a little <laughs> chicken. Stay with us. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I pretty much ignore the book as well. <laughs>